guys in this tutorial we will learn how we can send broadcast from our uh, service background service or fragment and then receive it in our uh, activity so that we can you know we can use it later uh, for whatever purposes we want all right so let's get into it uh, now this is the continuation of uh, another project that I had done uh, of getting location in your Android app from GPS and that I'll link that in the description below so let's get started now let's see here we have a service here and we are getting location in this thing so whenever the location is requested the location coordinates will be updated here so right now it's just being logged see as you can see location result dot get, get last location dot get latitude so we are just logging the la latest latitude and longitude here now we will what we will do is we will also send broadcast We'll also send broadcast so that the broadcast receiver can receive these location updates and then uh, show it in a map or send it to server or do whatever it wants so uh, let's create a new intent and let's give this an, an action of uh, this is now now this action is just a string uh, this you, this can be anything according to your application uh, right now let's just write action location and then here sorry and in this intent we put extras and let's call it latitude And similarly, we will do this thing for uh, longitude also. All right. Now, this is it. This is pretty simple. Now, this is how you send broadcasts. Now, sending broadcast is done. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a broadcast receiver so that uh, when we send this broadcast from our service, we can handle it in our receiver. Okay, so let's go to our main activity and let's create a broadcast receiver. Let's call it mm -hmm, location broadcast receiver. Now this extends. Sorry, not void. This is a class, not method. This extends broadcast receiver okay now there will be an error because we have not implemented the methods of broadcast receiver so go there and just click alt enter and implement the methods and in this on receive we will receive the intent that we had sent so here is where we send the intent send broadcast and and this broadcast receiver is where we receive it all right so first of all we check if the action is according to our application or not that means if the action is uh, required action or not so the action that we are sending from here is act underscore loc so here we check if the action is this or not that means if the action is this then it is our required intent so uh, for strings instead of this double equals to it's better if we use equals all right and if it is equal then what we are we, what are we going to do uh, let's say double lat equals to intent dot get double extra and let's call it uh, L A T I T not call it the extra is in latitude key else the default is zero similarly we will get the longitude and 
I'm sorry what spelling did I use here magnitude so this is what we are getting all right now let's just show it in a toast now I'm just showing it in this toast for demo purposes you can send it to the server you can show it in a map or you can do whatever you want with it all right so let's just show it in a toast latitude is and what is the latitude is dot show all right so this is how you send and receive a broadcast broadcast so what this is pretty universal in Android so you can send it from anywhere so the what the steps are first you create an intent and then you add the data that you want to pass with this those intents so and then in that intent define an action so that you can check for that action uh, wherever you are creating your broadcast receiver because there are a lot of broadcasts you need just you just need to handle the actions that are related to you so first you create an intent with an action and then you add extras to that intent and then just send the broadcast all right and then you in your receiver you check if the intense action is equal to your appropriate action or not and then you get the extras all right and then you do whatever you want to do with those extras all right so let's test this i'll also record uh, the app on my phone so that you guys can see all right so the app has started and I have not received any broadcasts yet I mean I have not received any uh, there is no toast so that means uh, okay all right one more thing uh, really sorry about this a small mistake and that is you need to register this broadcast receiver so uh, thus creating the broadcast receiver is not enough we need to let the Android system know that we are listening for the broadcast. So for that, uh, when you are creating a service, you can just say register receiver and just create your broadcast receiver. All right, so here you just register your receiver and intent filter is what was it okay so it was using this action name uh, you need to create intent filter new intent filter and the action is this all right so now we are done so it consists of three steps first you uh, create the broadcast receiver all right and then you register the broadcast receiver and finally you just send the broadcast from wherever you want to send the broadcast all right now let's run this again now this will be uh, pretty quick this time all right so I have received the broadcast yes the toast is also visible so yes this is it guys this is how it is done so if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below and and one more thing that I'm hyped up about I was just watching uh, you know what was I watching I was watching Conor McGregor versus Cowboy and man that was a quick one I think Conor has really improved after the cubby loss anyways back to your code get back to the code and kill it till next time peace out man or woman ladies and gentlemen all right
If any questions, just like always, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Happy coding!